Homework 5b. In question number one, you are asked to label the regions of the diagram as to which phases are present. So first, notice this is temperature composition phase diagram. Also notice it's a combination of liquid vapor, liquid liquid phase diagram. So at high temperature, it's only vapor phase. And uh, in between, single liquid. All right, and then here two region uh, liquid vapor uh, coexist, so two phases. So liquid vapor, all right, and here you have two phases, okay, liquid separate into two liquids. Now, next question is describe what will be observed when mixture of B3. So here you have a B3 is heated at each stage, giving the number composition and the relative amount of phases present. B3 falls in two phase liquid phase region. <clears throat> so we draw the, the tear line and we have two phases. Uh, this can be called alpha phase and this can be called the beta phase. Find the uh, composition, one is 0 0.18, one is about 0 0.7. And to find the abundance of the two phases, we use level rule, and that is number of amount of alpha phase times the length of the alpha phase, which is here, equals number of beta times L beta, which is this length, all right? And therefore, the abundance uh, you can write as n uh, alpha divided by n beta equals L beta L alpha. So you see L beta is much smaller than L alpha. So you expect this is ratio is a small number. So by measuring the length, you will find the ratio is 0 0.13. Okay, next, when you heat the solution, the two liquids, uh, the phases merge okay, at this point. It start to merge into two phases. For example, at B2, you only have a single liquid, okay, the two liquids combined. All right, next, when you keep heating it, at uh, this point, Vaporize some vapor start to form. So you have two phases, liquid and the vapor phase. In other words, this is the boiling point. Okay, and all the way to B1, you you see two phases, liquid and the vapor phase. Until the temperature above B1, then all liquid becomes a single vapor phase. This question asks you to label the regions of this liquid solid phase diagram. So at high temperature, solid all becomes liquid, so single liquid phase. At a very low temperature, they become two solids. And in this region, uh, the left side is A, the right side is here, which is the product of A, B combined together. So we can solid A, B, all right? And this region, uh, the right side is B, product uh, reactant B, and the product A, B again, all right? So here, you, you always see uh, liquid and the solid. So in this region, you have solid A, okay, this is A, right, solid A, and here is the liquid of A and B mixture, A plus B, okay, completely miscible. So it's a liquid contains A, B mixture. Similarly, here, solid, this is a solid A, B product with this uh, mixture, liquid mixture of A, B. And here, solid product, all right, and mixture uh, a, B, A and B mixture as a liquid, all right? And 
here solid B, right, and liquid uh, solution of A and B. Okay, now also notice you have two eutectic composition. Eutectic composition is the composition where the melting point is the lowest here, two points. Now, note that in this diagram, the product AB, all right, it remains as a solid, stable solid until it becomes melt. So before it melt, it's always a stable AB product. After it melt, uh, it, become, it becomes the reactants A and B in liquid solution. All right. So this kind of diagram is called a congruent diagram. Okay, congruent. Now there's another type called incongruent. So in this diagram, then the difference is that the product remains as a solid product, but before it melt here, before it melt it becomes a mixture of A B liquid, it actually decomposes into solid uh, B and a liquid. So this kind of uh, diagram is incongruent. In this question, uh, you are asked to describe the phase change that takes place when a liquid mixture of one, let's say the borane is A, all right, and uh, di dimethyl ether, let's say this is B, a mixture of A, B, is cooled from 140 Kelvin to 90 Kelvin. To do that, first you need to know the phase diagram. So uh, <clears throat> this question tells you the melting point of the two pure substances. So the phase in the phase diagram, the two pure substances are on the left and the right side. So if this is X, A, so the right side is A, the left side is B, the left side, the melting point for A is 131. <clears throat> so if this is 131, and then this is 135. Okay, <clears throat> now it also tells you these substances form a compound. Compound. This compound is just A and B combined, so it's in the middle, all right? And uh, it melts congruently at 133. So on 133 is in between, so you have melting point right here, okay? Now, it also tells you the system exhibit two eutectic composition. One is at 0 0.25, so one, 0 0.25, that's the compos eutectic composition. And remember, eutectic composition is the composition give you the lowest melting point. It tells you the melting point is 122. Uh, 123. So 123 is here, and that's the melting point. So we connect this uh, together. So that's the left side. All right. So on the right side, it tells you another eutectic composition, 0 0.9 here, and the melting point is 104. So 104 is here. So this is 104. And that gives us our complete the phase diagram. So the more accurately is right looks like here. All right. With this uh, phase diagram, we now can answer what happens uh, when this mixture uh, change uh, so cools. All right. Um, so let's see. The <coughs> describe the phase change take place when this mixture is cooled from 140 Kelvin. So 140 is right here, all right? That's 140 Kelvin. Uh, and the composition uh, is, okay, 0 0.8. So you need to find the composition. The composition, it tells you four more A, uh, one more B. So four uh, plus one is five, total is five. 4 divided by 5 give you 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is here. And that's why you find the initial composition. And so what is it? What do you see? This should be a single liquid phase. So you start with a single liquid, and the liquid cools down, all right, goes down, temperature cool down. And the, at this point, you see the solid. 
and the temperature is 120, so 120. At 120, you see the solid. What is the solid? Is this compound, which is uh, a product AB. So this is AB, this is A, this is B, okay? So B start to crystallize. All right, when you keep cooling, the liquid is here. You see the liquid composition uh, of uh, X, uh, B uh, of A. So this is A. So A increase towards, uh, goes down, all right? So the liquid becomes progressively richer in P, B2H6 until it goes to this point, all right? So at this point, the liquid comes to the lowest melting point and the uh, eutectic composition, which is uh, 0.9, all right? The temperature is 104, okay? Three phases exist, all right? The liquid mixture and the product AB and the solid A. All right, <clears throat> if you keep cooling, then liquid becomes too solid. Liquid disappeared at this temperature. All liquid becomes too solid. One is A, which is C2H6, all right? And the other is the product AB. Continue with the last question. Sketch the cooling curve for the liquid mixture in which B2H6 more fraction is 0.8. All right, so this is the phase diagram and we already see in the last slide. And the starting point is 0.8 more fraction. So the cooling process, or we are described in the last slide. Now we ne let's uh, plot the cooling curve. So uh, from the starting point until this here, this point, uh, it's a liquid cools. So liquid cools, all right. At this point, uh, the product AB start to freeze. Okay, whenever a solid a liquid freeze into solid, it will release heat and slow down the cooling process. So you see a slope change, all right, until at this point, okay. So what happens at this point is that now you see three phases, uh, not only a liquid, uh, the product AB, but the, uh, A, so if this is A, A also freeze. So two solids start to freeze. And in fact, all the liquid has to uh, become uh, two solids uh, before the temperature goes down. So you see a eutectic halt at this point in a flat line, all right, which means temperature is, is remains constant before all liquid becomes solid, all right? And then after that, two solid forms, no liquid. So it's the solid, a solid product. So C also you can write as product AB uh, cools, 